I've been watching this perch since very first light, and I must have seen at least a dozen displays, but not one of them has ended with a mating. I think that's because this is one of the junior perches, the subsidiary ones. The senior perch, where all the action is, is over there in a much taller tree. That's where males are winning mates. A female. This male is certainly putting on a great performance. Is she, in fact, assessing and comparing the displays? A copulation as ever, a matter of seconds. Another, same place. There seems little, to my eye at least, to choose between all the several dozen males, and I don't see how a female could make a proper choice. Maybe it is the perch in these great assemblies of competing males that is the important thing as it also may be among the greater bird of paradise. If that is so, then in these mass displays, the males are not so much showing off to the females as posturing aggressively to one another, using their plumes to demonstrate their strength and vigour, as stags do with their antlers. That would enable them to establish a ranking between them all, and the boy at the top of the rank gets the number one perch. One of the mysteries about Birds of Paradise, as far as I'm concerned, is why, when they have such wonderful colours, do they do so much of their displays in the semi-darkness before dawn. It's only now that the sun is up that I can really see the full beauty of these wonderful plumes. The displays are over. It's time to get smartened up again after all that rough and tumble. The white standards are looking a bit bedraggled too, and at last I can see exactly how they're attached to the front of the wing. Is there a more elegant cravat in both shape and colour worn by any bird? I doubt it.